at the International Startup Festival in Montreal in 2012, and I just bumped into the founder of Kinzel, Marlena. Marlena, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Christina. So tell me about Kinzel. Well, Kinzel is a fun social marketplace for trading, buying, and selling, and we help users achieve their bigger life goals through uptrading, just like Kyle McDonald did with his red paperclip all the way up to a house. So how does that work? Well, what is your big life goal? Oh my goodness. All right, let's just say I want to have an electric car. Okay. Do you have something sitting around idle in your home, like a book, maybe an old coffee table, or a bike? You put that on Kinzel, and you trade up with one of your friends from through one of your social networks. And you trade up through other friends, and you keep going up until you achieve that electric car. Kyle McDonald did it in 14 trades, it took him a year. You can do it, and it should be easy on Kinzel. We're trying to make it a very fun and an interactive uh, marketplace where we're using real-time technologies and social networking and creating a very engaging, immersive environment. And so what's the revenue model behind this? Well, we're working with a freemium model to get everybody on the platform and trading, and then we'll see what they want. Uh, we're looking at premium subscriptions down the road, and uh, we'll go from there. So who do you have on your team to make all this happen? Well, it takes a lot of people, actually. Um, everyone's been working hard. Uh, there's an advisor, Bone Zabowski, uh, from Mercatus Technologies. And we have a team of about five other coders and programmers, front end and back end. And uh, they're all dedicated working hard back in Toronto. How do we find out more about Kinzel? I hear you're about to launch in a couple of weeks. Well, you can check us out online at kinzel.com. It's Kinzel with two I's. So K-I-I-N-Z-E-L.com. You got it. Great. And are you looking for funding to make this happen? Yes, we need your money. <laughs> We're looking for angel investors, so I'd love to be contacted and share some of my uh, more details. Excellent. We're looking forward to seeing what happens. Thank you so much. It's been great meeting you. Thank you so much, Christina. Hi, I'm here at the International Star Festival that Phil Talley and his gang pulled together. It's 2012 in July, and I've just met with one of the co-founders of Feedseed. Nice to meet you, Mike. Nice to meet you. So I just learned all about your application. Tell everybody about it. It's so incredible. We're a social content platform that it really allows businesses to publish their content and to distribute it over social platforms and social networks throughout the internet. So how does that work? Well, essentially, we take content from any business or publisher that generates content. And we allow them to leverage the relationships they have with their supporters and their employees to increase the social reach of their product. So give me an example. An example would be if you have a blog entry or a piece of news that you've just published and you want to tell the world about it. And if you're a small business and you don't have a great social following, Feedseed allows you to utilize and leverage the social networks and social following of your supporters to increase the reach of that content. So how did you start this idea? Uh, we started out really as a, uh, uh, a niche business focusing on small businesses and helping them engage their clients and their customers and just keep in touch because that can be hard and it's grown into uh, a social content platform from there. Is there something coming up on the horizon for you guys? Uh, we're launching our uh, primary platform and opening our beta next week. Uh, so we're really excited about that and the feedback that we've been getting here at Startup Fest as well as from our early adopters has been terrific. So how do you make money off of this thing? Uh, essentially, our monetization strategy is through delivery methods such as SMS. And for certain types of content, such as service disruptions on public transit, uh, that's pretty important. So people want to receive that via SMS and through affiliate marketing for certain types of e-commerce um, platforms. And are you looking for financial backing? Uh, right now, we're privately funded, but we are starting to look at, uh, at, at different uh, funding options so that... Uh, we're raising money when we uh, when we want to, not when we really need to. Well, this is a great place at the International Start Festival to meet some idea backers. What do you think of the event so far? Uh, I've, I've loved the event. I mean, the, the turnout has been fantastic. Uh, there's hundreds and hundreds of people here, both investors, startups. Uh, it's, it's been fantastic. And the great thing about Startup Fest is it's not a, a stodgy conference where you're sitting all day listening to people speak. You're out there interacting with the who's who of, of the industry. Sounds great. It's great getting to know you. So I got to know another who's who. And thank you so much for the time you've taken for us. Oh, thank you, Christina.